let's do a mystery hour. <laughs> Since what? we're 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 recording this for YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So yeah, let's record this for YouTube. Do a mystery hour and get into Tubby the mystery oops. of we went back, which is it's looking better and better. The lack of an option screen. I I don't know. Something about it just. Oh, shit. Mm. One, is this the one where you're um, like on the moon or some planet and you're just it's just like walking sim? That's a good guess. <laughs> oh, it's that one. Why why would you want to play that? I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I literally just saw this and just downloaded it immediately. We went back to the moon. I guess yeah, we could have gone back to the moon. But what's all this wiring? Is it significant? Hmm. Um it Jump in. Whoa, is whoa, good. what is uh, okay. Thank you for this tutorial. Hold the right mouse button to zoom in on objects or areas you wish to see better. Such as that creepy shadow. Interact with the E. I'm so glad that I needed to... Uh, do I really need a tutorial for this? During object inspections, you can move the mouse to rotate your object. Press E to snap a photo fucking geniuses using the, using the tutorial to uh, build up tension. Oh, holy shit, my my game was way up. Why don't you guys tell me when my when my voice is way too fucking loud? All right. I can can we move with the wads keys? I don't see anything saying that we can. Oh. Uh, anti aliasing Motherfucking off? Can I turn that off, please? More off, please? Click the mouse button to click things. That, that's a thank you, Vorpal Thumbs. I wasn't certain of that. Holy yeah, you shit, it click works! To do things. Oh, cryosleep interrupted. Wait, who's this Vorpal Thumbs guy? Is this your game? What? No. Huh. I was told I could move around, look around with the mouse. Hey, zoom does work. I'll be damned. Wait a second, that's the tutorial right there. You didn't need to give me that other stuff. I, I guess I'm not in cryosleep anymore. Come on, I, game, I, tell I, me I how to move tell forward. I can't tell if is the developer or not. I think Borbos is the developer. What? Oh my god. The mouse movement speed is... Forked. They're giving you hints. Uh, I used to go. <laughs> oh, hints. I'm a developer. I, I just sort of suspect hints who already gave you I'm hints. I'm sorry. Hints such as click the mouse to click things. <laughs> totally, totally made me think you were a developer because that's the kind of thing I no, do. No. <laughs> I don't know what that computer layer said, but I know what Untrusted said, and he's more important. Let's take a look at this. That's right, screen. I am. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. Locked system override required. Password. But... No. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. So... We're not on a ship. Because there's actual ground there. <laughs> Surface exit. All right, there we go. What? That's all of them. Okay. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. Twenty-five, twenty-five technology, nineteen seventy technology. Explain. Explain this. <laughs> Could be an asteroid mining colony with a Polaroid camera. Look at this thing. It's an alternate reality where we went back. The what? moon. Moon 888 camera. LMS. W what? Oh, okay. Thank you for that. That skeletal image that is now ingrained in my eyes. Oh, did, did the jump scare you? Yeah, they pulled a jump scare. It wasn't Yuck. that fancy. Not a fan wow. of Jeff Wait a second, this guy's got an eye. Is he the Terminator? What is that a reflection of? That's not a reflection. None of this is a reflection. 
I need to not be critical. I'm not gonna be critical, okay? <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Critical. <laughs> okay, here's the exercise joint. Cool. And a pool table, which means we have gravity, otherwise pool would not work. Hey, I found the run button without a tutorial. Holy shit. I'm just a mean person. And I'm by kidding. run, I mean mildly sprinting. <laughs> well, kind of walking fast. And by running, I mean walking. Yeah. Hey, we have some red <laughs> and some green, so we've got everything. Uh, this looks uh, like... I bet the colors don't have meaning. I mean, this I bet looks they do like have meaning. This looks like what 1970s future looks like. Oh, this reminds me of the look of this game called Canarium. Oh, I still have yet to play that one. June 69, 9th. What? I didn't even look. Hey, it's 66 degrees. It's kind of cold. July 69. Okay, they're going uh, for a particular feel here. The, the temperature also said 66 for some reason. No, Did you I notice mean, that? Okay, consider what we're doing here. We're walking through retro the equivalent... Retro futurism. Yeah, yeah, this is retro <laughs> future. This is 1970s future stuff. Like, let's, let's be honest. We've seen current day technology. It doesn't look anything like this. It wouldn't... Why would they have the engravings from the Voyager on here? Like, why would that be a thing? Why would they need that? What? No cryo sleep for the rat? PETA will be angry. What if it's 2069? Uh. Okay, these are blueprints. I think they built that rat. Huh. As a poster people have weird posters. Oh, they're fucking with making life? Okay. Maybe. So we have butterflies pen done here. This is known as the germ of life. It's got a couple of extra lines to it, but that's what that is called. Why is, why is part of it, um, like, erased out? That's, that's a good really question. weird. Um, only thing I can think of is there's something that somebody didn't like and they just erased that. Making these is fun, but difficult with a marker and board. Uh, I, I have a feeling there's more meaning than that. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. We, this is mystery hour. We're trying to take apart our surroundings here to determine what the heck is going on. Actually, there's only one hallway, right? Uh, what do we got? These are landscapes. Luna 06. Diagnostic header 03 ID IB8, etc., etc. Ghost personnel. What? Ghost personnel. Location available. Oh. Okay, so that's a reference to Space Station Thirteen. Um, uh, you ha people can have these PAIs called ghosts. I know what a ghost is on Space Station Thirteen. Although YouTube might not. Okay, so we're definitely on the moon. Maybe we're whaling. Okay. Guess we'll continue. Uh, this is an engineering section. Oh, this looks friendly. Let's open it. <laughs> cool animation. Yeah, did we just go through... Did we do a full circle? Is this a PT... Wait, there's a... Wait, wait, turn around. There's a number inside the pod. God damn it. Number one, vital signs good. Damage minimal. No, no. Yeah, look down. Look down? Yeah. Oh, the delay sucks. Yeah. You can't see the number? I, I need you to be real specific. Okay, here's one. 00568-7345. Are you thinking this is a password? Yeah, I'm thinking that definitely has some sort of meaning. 
You and your cryptographs, let's write it down and try it out. Uh, zero, zero, cinco, siete, ocho, seis, tres, cuatro, cinco. Okay, let's try it out. Zero, zero, five, six, eight, seven, three, four, five. Nope, that is incorrect. Yeah, we went full circle. This is a PT. What were we supposed to do to take a picture? Hey! Hi, guys. How's it hanging? <laughs> oh hi holy shit I didn't expect somebody to, to fall out well I'll take your place it's okay don't worry about it I'm just here with the rest of the guys how you doing rest of the guys what are you other normal people doing I'm currently programming huh I, I think I found that guy's body it was in the it was reaching for me ah <laughs> Oh, yeah, the delay. <laughs> well, this is what that skinless man was doing. He was living here and uh, spinning DJ records. Cool. How's it hanging? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Oh, I missed the whole thing. That's okay. You just keep I on programming. Make <laughs> that a better Lovecraftian fish game. Huh. This is this this one. This is RLDR I'm working on right now. Huh, huh. Okay, look right. for words. Maybe. Got to go through those records. Yeah, it's obvious that you have to put the you have to find these images and put them in the right order. But so... the images will also have letters on them. Well, this bullshit is right down your alley. Yep, working on it now. I love pencil yeah, it's paper. Really puzzles. Painful. Oh, E to go back. Got it. Oh, that one's you. I think. That one is. Would it really be that easy? No, it isn't. I think these are ones that he marked out because he's not sure what they are. Yeah, it's just marked down. Oh, geez, more stuff. Might be the password? Could be. Hey, a tape. Side A. Gimme. I want it. Uh, C does not crouch. Neither does X or Z. Neither is Alt or Space. Hmm. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's a way to get back. Thank you, no. Wait. Why are these Polaroids of things? What are these Polaroids of? Wasn't there a way to... I thought they were the moon cycle. Okay, how do you take a picture, right? Actually, let's also take a closer look at this. Bruno. Moon far side, northeastern limb, diameter, 22 kilometers, co-longitude, co-latitude, colors. I don't know how much detail we're supposed to take, uh, pay attention to. There's a lot of fucking codes in here. 
There's just a fucking lot of codes in here. Like the reference to the Voyager over here, which has a record on it, and here we have a record player. Shit like that. Oh, hey. He basically has the same drawing that I did. But he marked out everything. I don't understand, why is there one slash through some of them and two slashes through... Huh. I don't know, there's a lot here to unpack. Equipment? Maybe. Hey, normal guys! How, how are you, normal guys? Hey, normal guys, why aren't you, like, dancing around like me? Look at me, I can dance! I'm just jealous of my dancing skills. E-type. Specialized suit manufacturing. Or would there be an advertisement for the suit you'd have to wear to see the advertisement for the suit you'd have to wear? Help. And then a Blair Witch symbol. I don't think that's an actual Blair Witch symbol. Wish I had a flashlight. Huh. You know, I was given the ability to spin things around and look at them and maybe take a picture of them. But I haven't been given that many things to pick up or take a picture of. Going in there. There's there's a lot to decode in this one. Hetera Durene. The serial number. Are they all Hetera Durene? No, nope, this one's different. Cordyline Fruticos... Fruticosa? Or is that a six? That is an S. Hey. We got another code in binary. If anybody wants to decode this. And I hear birds. Oh, no. I feel like writing those all out. <clears throat> the rat is sque uh. squeaking. Although it doesn't appear to it. Oh, geez, binary. Yeah, I know. We have a binary translator, but it takes so long to type it in. Man, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, binary is easier to decode, but, nah. Eh. Yeah, it's work. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of serious codes in here, but, like, so far most of them have been things that I'm just like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I like what you're doing. Wait. Huh. I'm gonna quaff some water. Be right back. Go quaff. All of the quaffing. Do some quaffing to do your quaffing. <sighs> I think I just heard him fall over. What is that? What? I was just here, right? Huh, there's another one. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> one scan since 1947, Jesus. 
I don't think they had Polaroids in 1947. Oh, hey, here's a newspaper. Apollo 11 lands on the moon. Giant leap for mankind. It's the New York Examiner. I don't see a date. So yeah, we went back to the moon. Still says help. I'm not seeing much of a difference. Oh, hey. Yeah. I've forgotten how to take a picture. Damn it. They told me up front how to take a picture and I forgot. Come on, chat. Don't fail failure. me. How do you take a picture? Alt F4. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> What's the number on the back of that? Was there a number? I didn't see it. Spin it. I guess I'll spin it to win it. Ouch. Oh, there's the options. Thank you. So how do I take a... Huh. Save. Check your blood oxygen levels. Here's some numbers. Am dead? You've been dead the whole time. That's the twist. Shyamalan! I miss that rat. I wonder if this is worth a release. Probably not. Realm Child, or what you're working on now? Um, I am adding uh, new ways to win to RLDR. Oh, okay. Filling out that list of classes. Eh. With a, win conditions. Wait a little bit. Wait until you got, like, three things that you, you can say, Yeah, check this shit out. It's just like, I've been regularly updated anyway, so it's not like people will be surprised uh, when I pop out a new update out of my wonderful ass. I'm looking for that was anything, dumb. anything new, and I don't see anything new. Okay. That was oddly PT. With Realm Child, I need to rewrite the um, uh, field of view system because I added a dynamic lighting system to it. Wow, that guy's got a really big head. Check this dude out. He's got a big head. Aw. No, no. Oh, God. Come back. I just read Love Dead by Lovecraft, and I am attracted to your decaying corpse. The delicious, decaying corpse pussy. What? Okay, so that's what the guy took a picture of, and it gave him a letter. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the password by taking pictures of shit. Which is fine, which is fine. You guys gonna look at me now? Aw, I don't feel real unless somebody's actually looking at me. Don't worry, I'm looking at you right now, Grim. Sexy. I'll right put on the gimp window. mask. Yep, here it is. <laughs> so, alright. Uh. Okay. So how do you get a letter from it? Um, mm. Maybe we could be like Batman and just punch it until it reveals its secrets. I don't know. It's a tape recorder, so maybe it's a T. It's one of those. Yeah, I don't know if um, I don't know if the modern type of horror game, the one where, you know, it's all about atmosphere and you only hide from things, is as good as like you know Silent Hill, where you where you fight things, but it's hard for you to fight things. Ugh. Well, Silent Hill is 
Silent Hill, the good Silent Hill games, are all good, not because you could or could not fight, or even the levels of fear, but because of the atmosphere. Hey, no rat. The rat is gone. Well, right, but is it actually a good thing to get rid of the combat? Well, it's no, supposed that, to be like distilling question. things down to their basics. You know, we have the blueprints. Right, but we I, just think build that, a new I think that um, I think that roguelikes have the potential to accomplish horror better than you know any sort of other horror game. Be like, there's one game called Darkwoods. I think is what it's called. Oh, Darkwoods is really good. Yeah, and that game is absolutely freaky. It's so freaky that people who regularly play horror games, like couldn't complete it because they were too terrified. Well, it's... so, uh, it's And it's a roguelike. The, it's the oppressive atmosphere, not the roguelike. No, but the roguelike definitely helps. <laughs> I... Mm. The, the, the concept of permanent death really helps. Because everything does, in fact, have consequences. You can't just load a save point. Alright. I... Guess we're going through a whole bunch of greenery now. Is this just like spiraling downwards, do you think? Or are we actually in a paranormal greenhouse? Like, I've been watching a lot of horror game analyses and reading through a bunch of horror game analyses recently. Yeah, got another one. Of that. What was the deal with the fingerprints the finger... and the glove? I don't know. I think somebody put this glove here. It's not a glove, it's a severed hand. It's not a severed hand, it's a glove. And but on the inside it of it, you can clearly see the bones. Even if it is a severed hand, then somebody put this severed hand here. It was placed here. Yeah, it's a severed hand with a glove on it. <laughs> but it was placed here, which is the more important part. That means that it's some kind of signal or message. If it had just been flung across... See, this is one of the reasons I liked, uh, believe it or not, this is why I liked... Motherfucking uh, viscera cleanup detail, because there's a oh, lot yeah. of stuff that you can look at. Going, okay, what happened here? Yeah, that's a lot of world building, and that's what this is. No more spooky skull face. Aww. But how do we determine... Go back here again. Okay, that actually legitimately got me. <laughs> I <laughs> pulled back from the screen like half an inch. Like, holy shit. The black... Without the loud noises that accompany them... Yeah, it's, it's just a flash of red. Yeah. So it's, it's like not scary at all when looking at it from that perspective. <laughs> It's kind of funny. We got here. What's bay, up with bay. bay four? It says status operational, blinking in red. Everything else is just status operational. Yeah. What? Hmm. Property of Company Inc. Established 1972. So, Company Incorporated. <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention something about that, but oh well. I can't think of a name for this company. You know what? I'm going to call it Company. <laughs> call it Company Incorporated. Hey, what's up there, dude? Hi. How are you? <laughs> wearing a gimp mask. Oh. Oh, that's freaky. Okay, yeah. if you say so. It's just, it's, it's just a tall skeleton, though. 
Well, anyway. Tall meat skeleton. I guess technically we're all meat skeletons. Oh, he fucked up the greenery. The conservatory's oh. a mess. I'm not gonna clean this. I just got off my job. Just walking around taking photos. Wait. That doesn't look like he tore it apart. That looks like, like, age-based wear and tear. <sighs> Actually, no, it looks like it tore it apart because, say, for example, this glove is still here, but everything that was on the shelf was dumped on the floor, which means one of two things. He took the shelf, dumped it on the floor, and put the glove carefully back, or he carefully scooped everything out of the shelf onto the floor. <laughs> Doesn't look like that to me. Dude, I have an empty shelf where plants were. The glove is exactly where it was before. How do you explain the rust? Forget the... That's not rust, that's blood. No, on the ground. That's not rust, that's dirt. No, that... No, this that's is not... That's dirt. Of course, we're not... We're not, uh... We're meat skeletons in a skin bag. That's right. Wait a second. This guy ate the rat, didn't... No, the rat's back. Yay. Oh... Okay. Well, time to build another rat. Oh, he took the blueprints. Oh, no. There they are. <laughs> so you're saying he carefully opened up the rat's thing and killed the rat, huh? Uh, yes. Apparently. Because he carefully <laughs> he carefully put the glove back on to the exact same spot, or the severed hand, or whatever. I, I think it's way more likely that we have an unreliable narrator. I think you're right. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff isn't making sense. The graphs have changed, but I can't read exactly what they're saying. Wait a second, did we pass the pool room and I miss it? Yeah, I... I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's right, because I met the meat skeleton in there. Well, hello. So we got another one of these pictures. Don't know what it means yet. One butterfly is left, and it's fluttering. How alarming. Huh. Yeah. I'm sure it's symbolic as, I don't know, something or other. Yeah, this is definitely a PT situation, I think. I don't know what you mean when you say PT situation. Going around and around, repeating the same area again and again with slight things being changed here and there. Just like in PT. I don't know what PT is. Uh, you call yourself a horror game fan. <sighs> you know, I, I could understand that you haven't played PT. In fact, many people haven't. But to not know what it is? Mm. <laughs> wow, what a realistic butterfly. I'll explain after the, uh... God, I'll people... Just look it up. Hang on, just listen to the people in the comments. They're screaming right now. <laughs> Initialism for Playable Teaser is a first-person psychological horror video game. Huh. Jeez, I don't even play horror games, and I know what PT is, says Vorpal Thumbs. <laughs> Whoa, that looks way more wrecked than it did previously. Yeah. Or age. Yeah, I think... The decay thing is finally set in, but I don't think that's what it was before. Mm, still not got a password for you. Sorry there, buddy. The only weird thing was that um, some of the plants that had fallen on the ground were still green. You know what? I've played Space Engineers, and this place is a mess. I'm thinking these must be a clue of figuring out what the... The rest of the letters are, but even if we do that, these aren't actually in any kind of order. Five rows, two of them is a half moon and a half moon on the opposite side. There should be like more indicators between this, so. Well, maybe you'll get the images and then uh, later on you'll be able to figure out the letters. I don't know.
I don't know. I would really love to know what the difference is between the two marks and the one mark. Wait, wait, there are letters, there are letters, though. There are, like, a ton of letters per moon phase, and he's marked out some with one with one cross and with two crosses. Perhaps the, um, uh, the cross slash dagger thing he's drawing on them is uh, a signal to where they actually belong on that chart. So, here we have three half moons next to each other. E, U, right. and K. Um, you see that those cross the red and the white one there they're actually two different crosses and they point to different directions that's not a point it's not what you think this is a marker he started here and he lifted up the marker slightly while he was put uh pulling the pin across then why is it that there's two marks on two of them and uh, they have different letters i'm pretty sure usually i'm right when we do this i let, okay actually let's go with e e is a half moon lit on the right side and is a case. So let's it's find like on the chart. Yeah, let's find a half moon lit on the right side and see what it is on these little things. Yeah, but they have a different moon phase on them too. Here's and one with a U, and it's also got one mark. He's marked it out as well. Look at the chart. Which the chart? There's, there's so the many. Points. So we have a half moon right here, and no indication of an E anywhere. Um, there was a uh, there was a image with an E on it elsewhere. Here's one with an E that has uh, a gibbous moon on the left side. It's got a mark on it, which I can only assume means that that's not correct. I think the marks just mean that no, these these are incorrect. No, he he scratches out the ones that are incorrect. Wait a second. Am I going crazy or is that an I? That looks like an eye. Yeah. That's a half moon lit on the left side with an eye with a mark on it. But this is a half moon lit on the left. Oh, no, it's not. Why and Why is the mark upwards? All right, let's uh, continue on. This gross. is... We're pushing it. Let's see what other progress we can make. Maybe we can find another moon. Why would you song request on a on a game that has atmosphere? Getting badass. Please tell me it's something that totally doesn't match. Also, the plants are back for some reason. Yeah, and so is the rat. Maybe we rebuilt a new one. Okay, starting with the half moon on the left side, going clockwise, going alphabetically. A B C D E F G. Where where would the I come from? Okay. Onward. <coughs> nice, Captain. Good screen. I agree that it's simple verbal. Oh well. But I also think that we'd have to verify it by actually going back to the chart and then trying each and every possible here's an eye pin new direction combination it is a simple code yes but it's also like we have no indication that that is the code and well yeah that's we... what i'm saying i'm saying we'd have to try every single mood in every single direction and if we um if we actually do that, the wrap around and wrap around as many times as possible, uh, the eye lands in the wrong place. Because remember, the eye is a left side gibbous, not a left side half moon. The photographs will hide the letters, which will give you a jumble. Ooh, nice and red now. Everything's so well lit and funky. What? I heard a guitar play. I 
I think there's a record playing now. Yep. Well, 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 gentlemen. Well, the record seems to have letters on it. <laughs> yes, it does. Do the letters correspond? Kind of. I'm going to put this down real quick. I know I'm probably going to keep this, but I'm going to write it down anyway. This is the failsafe if you don't solve the puzzle within a certain amount of cycles. Pretty much, I think so as well. It reminds me of the Mario Golden Block. <laughs> it, uh, it reminds me... Oh, that's... A bad one. It kind of reminds me of the Voyager disc. Okay, we're supposed to pick this up. Oh, and now it's just right here. Okay. Just rotate it to match? Yeah, I just rotated it to match. Although I kind of figured that out anyway. And of course they're all labeled pr now. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> there we go. The password is two, fo two file. Pretty sure that's not it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not. It's not either. Of <laughs> Fu futile. Well. Uh... Oh, yep, that's it. Oh God. Uh, Resistance is futile. I guess. Prepare to be exterminated. Well, pre prepare to be burned or something. Let's. Uh... Huh. Uh, that's a problem. Good goodbye, feet. Sure wish I could have looked up, like, you know, my, slightly through the grate. Shit's on fire, yo. Aw, oh, I can't walk through here, can I? No, I'm blocked. Damn it, we have the password. Oh, look, it's activated hell. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, my poster. Somebody set my spaceman on fire. Rip. <laughs> oh, Only man, there were a way meta. to shut off the oxygen. Oh, no. Instead of the poster itself being on fire, the poster just that now has fire in it. Uh, at least somebody saved the rat. Uh... Or it just disappeared again. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you program ASCII graphics for a skull? Untrusted, did you program this uh, this moon landing mission? No, I definitely did not make this game. <laughs> it's not... Uh... Oh, I'm so close to the doorway. Is this the bad ending? Is this yes. the bad ending? It Probably. is. Probably. But, we went back. Yay for unreliable narrators. Yep, okay. Warning, life form detected. Please proceed to the nearest exit terminal. Okay, okay. so it's just a cycle, and you have to go over and over again until... Hang on a second. Shh. I'm listening for the AI to talk again. Okay, she's not talking again. So let's try and input the password, because yeah, I think this is cyclical. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this shit? <laughs> wow. 
Let me work it out real quick. Because there's a sun symbol and a star symbol, and I don't know what those are. But maybe we can work it out with the letters in between. So I'm missing two letters on either end. F-U-T-L. Oh, is that an I? I'll take another look in a second. I want to check the rat hole here. Okay, there is a star in the middle. So there's a star in the middle. What does that indicate? I have no idea what those end letters could be. Fuck it, let's do around and see what happens. I don't see anything different. And this time the uh, spooky men aren't looking at me. I wish I was more invested in this. So that first letter is a vowel. It has to spin the disc again. It's not even giving me an option to uh, to do anything with this. What's the binary again? Sure, let's take a look at that. Hey, untrusted. Hey, what's up? Do you have a binary tra uh, translator handy? Sure. <sighs> Bruno, what? Okay. Uh, Giordo Bruno is a 22 kilom kilometer lunar impact crater on the far side of the moon. Ah, here we go. Oh, this one's big. Oh, how man. Many, how many letters is this? One, two, three, four, five. How many codes are in this damn thing? The sacred geometry knows all. On it, this is the germ of life. This is also known as sacred geometry. Yeah, so I guess that thing knows all, maybe. But yeah, that is what it says. The sacred geometry knows all? But yeah, yeah, Bruno never came up. Why didn't you use Bruno? Well, I don't know, because I made an assumption, which I know is dumb. So, all right, let me try Bruno. Nope, that's incorrect. Nope. Nope. Yeah. What? I. But I tried that. I I swear I tried this. What did you try? That. But I tried that. Didn't I? Didn't I try that? Maybe it's different in the first and second sections of the game. No, no it's not. <laughs> Doomlad says we didn't try it. So I've been running around it. all this time with the password, thinking that there was a future password. What was it? It was futile. Maybe you didn't. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to edit this before I uh, before I actually upload it to YouTube's. Cause I just did an hour. I just did 30 minutes of bullshit. It was a nice, fun little thing. I think Markiplier did this game too, didn't he? So I'll look that up. See if he figured out something I didn't. I'm. He's a very smart man. I'm sure. All right. Um. Yeah. Untrusted, thanks for joining me. Uh, you're welcome, even though I didn't do much. Eh, you helped me d translate some binary, and you made fun of me at the appropriate times. <sighs> yeah, that's okay. about right. Say goodnight to YouTube. <laughs> Night, YouTube. And goodnight to everybody else.